Winston Smith here, friends. And I'd just like to say, I think maybe one of the last, the last episode kind of sucked. And I'm sorry about that. I'm going to try to make up for it with sweet-ass scenery, so feast your eyes. <laughs> Not just kidding, I'm Winston Smith and you're watching reviews with booze. And I wanted to review an album today by a band called Lost Horizon. Now this uh, is a power metal band. Just show you part of the cover right here. It is, uh, you know, a bunch of crazy animals enslaving humanity. You know, probably like the fat cats of Wall Street. But then all of a sudden, check this shit out. <laughs> These guys bust out of the fucking clouds and they're like a, a more decent man of war instead of thongs of leather they got full pants <laughs> these motherfuckers bust out of the clouds and save her uh, now they definitely don't have a good cover now it's a bit cheesy but music's pretty decent it definitely is power metal not to the extreme shit shittiness of dragon force you know like this these you know it's a pretty decent band um but, you know, there are definitely elements of cheesiness, and there's interludes and stuff with cheesy keyboardists that uh, subpar power metal bands use and stuff. But the songs are pretty decent, actually. It, it, actually, you know what's kind of funny is I, I, if Dream Theater happens to ever watch this, Dudes in Dream Theater, kind of think James LeBree's lost his touch. Maybe they should hire this guy. Dudes, if, if you're a fan, check out Lost Horizon. And uh, you can kind of see what I mean. This guy kind of sounds like James LeBree, but more kick-ass, kind of, <laughs> in a way. Um, I think it depends on what mood I was into. I've heard this album after I picked it up uh, five or six times. And, you know, so, tracks two, track seven, track nine, like, these songs are are the ones that caught me. It depends on what mood, because sometimes I'm listening to my truck, and I'm like, eh, you know, eh, it's kind of black. But then sometimes I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. What I thought was cool, especially for what, you know, the type of dudes who bear their open chest on camera and have the, the makeup coming out in the front, you know, type guys that betray themselves like this in a group... Uh, would often have, you know, just abusive solos and shit like that that don't even need to fucking be there. But these guys were actually quite tasteful with the fucking solos. And if it isn't review the booze. Um. Is there anything else that puzzles me about this album? I'm not sure. Um, check it out. This isn't, you know, you'll check you, if you're looking for the next power metal that's just gonna lasso you from space and pull you in and say, oh, this this power metal band is the new power metal band that fucking rocks my world. This may not be the group, but it's worth a listen. I'd say check it out. Lost Horizons. This has been an installment of Reviews with Booze. And I hope you'll scope into some of our other categories, such as Winston Movens or Interviews with Booze. More to come, my friends. But for now, this is Winston Smith, and I'm riding the elevator to hell. Out of here.